Hey guys, welcome back to Enigma Inc. once again. Uh, thank you for all your comments and all your likes in my past videos. My uh, recent videos have been in Hindi continuously, so I thought of doing this video in English purely. So this is for all the viewers who uh, understand Hindi and English both. And uh, today I'm going to read on, are they, he or she the one for you? So these are the four sets I've prepared. This is set one, this is set two, this is three, and this is four. Take your time, meditate, and decide which one you want, and just pick the card. Pick the set that calls you the most, because that's your intuition calling up to you. So let's begin with the reading number one. Let us see, guys, what uh, is up for the first group. And what does the first group, what was the question? Are they the one for you, right? So we got compromise. All right, we got compromise. We got choose a new direction. From the tarot cards, we got the sun. Nine of wands. Queen of wands. The lovers. Three of Wands. All right, we get business healer. Right, we get business, we get healer. Right, and uh, what else do we get? Nine of Cups. Any other messages? Nothing will come out of this situation. A new start is coming for you guys. You deserve love. All right. Love yourself first. So I see that this person is quite popular in their place. Whoever you're interested in, they're quite popular. They're the sun. <clears throat> they're like sunshine. In wherever uh, they go in their circle, they're quite popular. They're quite happy. They're quite positive. And they do not like to get committed very easily. So you, they do find you attractive. They do find you uh, physically attractive. But they are not uh, going to commit to you. So maybe because you feel uh, kind of insecure in front of them. Or you try to guard yourself from them. You're too guarded when they approach you. So... Uh, basically, they might already be involved with someone else and uh, they might be third party if they're with you. They might be a third person involved in their life. So this person is a wish fulfillment for you. But the, the card says that you need to choose a new direction. You need to compromise. You need to let go of the situation because this is not going to uh give you anything uh you deserve love you're a lovable person so you need to love yourself first as i can see that there's some sort of anxiety worry surrounding you guys you could be an aries sagittarius or uh, leo and they could be most probably a leo or a uh, cancer or i see fire and water strongly and uh <coughs> Yeah, you need to love yourself first. You're too insecure. You're too, you're, uh, you're too attractive yourself, but you're not looking at yourself. You're looking outside. So you need to look within yourself how attractive you are as a person and search for love because a new start is coming for you. Maybe you're going to have a change in future. And with this situation, nothing is going to come out of this situation. So probably you could be a healer. You could be a terror reader. You could be a yoga practitioner or who like to meditate and uh, you might be doing something of your own business and it can also mean that you need to heal yourself and you're minding too much of their business so you need to focus on your life on your business rather than them although with this card they are your wish fulfillment but they're not the one for you so that's all for group number one let's move on to group number two So I hope you guys liked it. Please do like, subscribe and comment. All right. So this was the first one. This is the 
group number two beautiful amethyst all right so peaceful resolution trust <coughs> wheel of fortune justice king of wands the strength card king of wands again so two times i get king of wands make the effort passion i think your relationship requires a lot of efforts right so this one is what is this look at the bigger picture right look at the bigger picture yep let's keep it here and uh, it's time to release negativity so probably i feel that for most of you guys you could be a leo or they could be a leo you could be a fire sign or they could be a fire sign you could be a sagittarius aries or leo or they could be uh, a sagittarius aries or leo or they could be a sagittarius capricorn i also got gemini and libra from their side or from your side so i think uh <coughs> You guys uh, run into each other every time. So there's like an on and off kind of relationship. You guys uh, run back into each other every time. And there's like you, you can see this infinity thing and you can see this wheel of fortune. I think this cycle keeps on repeating and repeating and repeating. And there's a lot of effort involved from both sides of you. There's a lot of passion. There's, there's a lot of uh, uh, physical desire for each other. There's a lot of uh, attraction for each other. But it nowhere it shows that there's some sort of love involved so although you guys will uh, resolve your situation there's some sort of negativity in this relationship could be a toxic relationship for some slightly toxic not too much but this this is the time to release negativity because they are not the one for you look at the big, bigger picture you have other options uh, lying towards you in front of you maybe you'll have you'll find someone who'll uh, um, uh, you know who'll be there for you not just uh, superficially but uh, uh, emotionally as well so this is the time to release negativity resolve all the pro problems with this person and you guys will end up being friends i see that there's strong connection between you guys some sort of karmic bond between you guys so you guys will end up as friends i see that one of you has pet and one of you is too caring too nurturing and one of you tries to go back to this person on and again you kind of trust this person like anything but uh, they maybe are on and off towards you they are making this relationship toxic they are making uh, you make all the efforts towards them although there is passion from both the sides there is desire from both the sides but one of you is working too hard for this thing to happen so look at the bigger picture let go of this negativity resolve the situation peacefully and yes they might be interested in you only physically superficially but not deeply uh, they might already be married for some they could already be married uh, or they are uh, or there is a situation in which your uh, community doesn't allow you to be together there's some sort of difference that your community community doesn't allow you guys to be together so although you guys end up coming back to each other on and off on and off but this is ending up into negativity from both sides so you guys will end up and resolve the situation peacefully and end up being friends you you guys do make a lot of efforts towards each other but this the, the emotional touch is lacking in this relationship so no they're not the one for you you have to trust the situation let go of the situation and let the bigger picture come inside your life all right so that's it for the reading number two let's move on to reading number three for all the guys who chose the reading number two please do like subscribe comment and let me know how you find the reading to be all right so let's move on to carnelian it's a beautiful carnelian let's see what's up there all right so are they the one for you abundance let your friends help you okay true love Oh, wow. Heart to heart conversations. 
page of wands nine of swords obsession page of pentacles the magician okay i got one answer to this knight of wands or page of wands you can say uh ace of hearts ace of cups your commitment is being tested. New romantic cycle begins. I feel that this person you're interested in, who you're asking about if they are, are uh, made for you or not, I think there is deep inside love involved, strong emotions involved. <coughs> they are your true love or you are their true love, but they do not understand it or you might not uh, feel that way. Or you might not believe this thing that you guys are true love of each other and there is a lot of love and emotions involved between you guys. There's some sort of player energy from this person. I think that you've been trying too hard towards this person but they are playing hard to get. So they are trying to make you chase them. You are chasing them and they have this player kind of energy. They're smart, they're intelligent, they're logical as well. And they are they like to play games. So they're kind of a magician. So they're quite attractive, quite popular in their field, in their work, in their community and uh, quite um, well established as well. So I think you could be probably younger than them. You could be a Libra, you could be a Virgo, you could be a Taurus, Capricorn or uh, Gemini, right? So you could be uh, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo or they could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It could be Sagittarius as well. I see that uh, Libra also feel that there's Libra. They could be a Libra as well. So I see that you are uh, thinking too much about them. You're thinking too much about them. You're uh, uh, approaching them, but very, very slowly. That You're taking slow steps towards them and you're uh, anxious. You do not know how they would react if you would let them know how you feel. So you're extremely obsessed and addicted to this person. So I see that you are not sure if they are the kind of a person who would commit to you. So you're kind of testing their patience. You're kind of testing their commitment uh, uh, thing that if they would commit to you or not. So you're kind of testing them or they kind of testing you. They are kind of... Uh, watching how badly you want them they want to see how badly you want to commit to them they want to check if you are the one who would commit to them they do have those feelings for you there is love involved if you express them through your friends if you can express them through your friends or your friends or friends know each other and they could have told them about your feelings for them maybe your feelings are true maybe you have a lot of emotions for them and they do feel the same about you but they do not realize that uh, right now as of now so in order to realize make them realize that make them realize how loyal you could be as a uh, as a partner and that uh, you both need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversations because there is a chance of new romantic cycle with this person if you guys become um, a couple there's going to be a lot of growth in positivity a lot of abundance a lot of money a lot of uh, emotions and a lot of balance in your relationship so you guys are meant for each other but you have to Get over this obsessive behavior towards them and be logical, approach them logically, let them know how you feel and do not chase. So have heart to heart conversations, let your friends help you, let them know through your friends and this definitely can change into a strong, strong relationship in future. So yes, there is a chance they are the one for you. You should go for it, try it there is a strong chance so that's it for the group number four people if you guys liked it please do like comment subscribe to my channel till then let's move on to the reading number four so this is the beautiful rose quartz so rose quartz guys no they're not the one for your shit Ask for help from others. Let us see how and why. Playfulness. Hmm, not that bad. 
Queen of Swords. All right. Then comes four of cups. Then there is uh, two of pentacles. Prosperity lies ahead. Yep. Six of cups. Star. Wow. Five of cups. Three of pentacles. Self-care. You're good enough. So, are they the one for you? I see, I feel that, uh, no, they're not the one for you. You both end up fighting with each other. I think there's a lot of fight between you guys. Either you guys are already in a relationship, but they, the, the relationship involves a lot of fighting. But remember that you can always change the uh, things you can always move the wheel in your favor that's not an issue but right now what the current situation is like that they are not accepting the love that you're giving them i think you're being too stubborn over them or you you're being too uh doubtful or you uh expecting too much of them i don't know you might be uh uh, causing them stress you might be asking numerous questions like where do you go why you go went there or why you talk to this person i think you behave quite possessive with this person and they are not liking it they are not accepting your feelings they're not understanding your feelings i think there's a lot of uh, talking between you guys there's a lot of fight or there's a lot of uh, give uh, uh, fight between you guys there's quarrels involved in this uh, kind of a relation if you guys get involved there will be a lot of quarrels between you guys and um, i feel that you <coughs> there's a, a presence of a third party maybe they will be too involved in their work in their uh, business or they could be self-obsessed or they could have another person in their life which you're not aware of so you will be always bothered about the third party situation. So there's going to be a third party situation most probably in this relationship or there is. And uh, I see that no, there's this relationship is not going to work. And I think that you're a playful person. You're a flirty person and uh, you like to uh, uh, be like a kid with them. You like to be playful. You like to be childish. And uh, I think this this think kinds of bind you guys together but ultimately overall we see that there's some lack in this relationship maybe there's not a lack of trust in this relationship or there will be a lack of trust but you guys are quite playful with each other you guys like to spend playful time with each other but it says that prosperity lies ahead do not worry uh, because you are going to do some kind of a healing work in future or you guys uh, you uh, kind of <coughs> uh, you'll move on from this or you will grow uh, in your own power because you are good enough you'll realize your self-worth because i see that you will realize your self-worth and they might come back and they might realize that they've lost you but you'll be moved you'll move on so uh, above their life uh, above their expectation that you won't look back so they might come back to you if you guys end up like this with quarrels they might come back to you or they might feel that they've lost you but you'll be so uh, uh, you'll have a new beginning, you'll be so changed, you'll have such great growth that you will not look back at the situation because prosperity lies ahead. Some of you could be an Aquarius, could be a Taurus, a Scorpio, Cancer or um, uh, what's that? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, yep. Could be a Libra, could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini. I think I do not see fire sign here except Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You could be anything, any sign. But most probably I see Taurus in your case and uh, could be an Aquarius, 
they could be a scorpio cancer or pisces i see that they are not right now understanding your worth so let it go let the situation this situation is not going to work because this, this situation is uh kind of uh, this relationship uh, uh has some sort of uh, uh what what do you call it uh narcissistic kind of relationship or i could say that this lot of control in this relationship one of you are controlling another and there's lack of emotions and there's too much fight and there's too much like nobody wants to give up so i see that this is not going to work so be playful come out of this come out of the sad angry energy be more playful ask for help from others let others know ask others what uh, uh, affected this or what uh, uh, why are you so stubborn and how can you change that so you need to be more open hearted and be more playful and you need to take care of yourself be more uh, worthy of yourself and you you'll start taking care of yourself maybe you'll become famous in something or you will understand your self worth you become really pretty gorgeous beautiful and uh, maybe you'll find someone else and they might regret losing you so some sort of situation like this will occur if you be with this person so it's a clear no that this they are not the one they're going to give you a lot of stress anxiety worries and a lot of controlling and lack of love kind of a situation i think you guys share a very playful uh, bond with each other playful friendly bond so you are really beautiful you might not understand this right now but soon you will realize you'll have a new beginning in will in which you'll start loving yourself too much and they'll come back into your life probably they could be a bit older than you i see that you are quite a stubborn and quite logical and practical kind of a person you do not take any bullshit before things are clear in front of you so this lot of abundance i think that maybe you will get a job soon or you will uh, start getting paid you'll get good salary and you'll um you'll be a changed person i think there's going to be a lot of growth in group number 5 people so i think in uh, career or otherwise there's going to be a lot of growth but in this if you're asking about this person there's going to be some sort of toxic kind of relationship some issues which is not going to help you uh so that's it for the group number 4 all right guys if you guys liked it please do like subscribe and comment and let me know what all kind of readings in english or in hindi you guys want and please do check out all the hindi viewers do check out english uh, readings as well all right till then I take leave. Bye bye.